All right, guys, it's time to turn it up another notch. All right, let's talk about it real quick, man. If you want to challenge yourself some more, and if you want to really manifest really fast, this is how, this is a way where you can manifest like kind of quick when it comes to you being on your retention journey, you being on your spiritual walk, and you getting to your goals. This is simple. I remember I made a video a long time ago when I talked about how like simple it is to uh, kind of clear your mind to help you manifest easier and faster. Simple. The simple, the most simplest things you could do right now is one. For for example, if you got a room or a house or wherever, your living situation, any type of little just nonchalant thing that you have in your realm of reality, bro, get rid of it. I don't give a fuck how small it is or whatever, get rid of it. Um, you have to make space for the new blessings that are about to come into your life, all right? And you got to start on a small scale before you get the big shit, all right? So this is how you take it up another notch. Anything that you're used to doing, any type of vice that you have, now's the time to test yourself to see what your natural energy or like what you naturally can do or be without those vices. You know what I'm saying? This is like, you know, limiting the time that you have on the phone, uh, even when you're talking to a female. Sometimes, a lot of times, bro, talking to a female is a vice. The nigga, that's my vice. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For some reason, dog, like, the, the conversation doesn't even have to go sexual. I just love communicating with the feminine energy. You know what I'm saying? But what it do is your boy Moody Star, and I'm back again with another video. If you're new, you already know what to do, man. Become a subscriber, like the video, and join MGT. This is a channel where I like to highlight current events and talk about my spiritual walk here in this beautiful matrix. Now, first of all, I got to say a special shout out to anybody that's holding on to your energy, going within, and being high vibrational. Here at MGT, this is what we do. We work on ourselves every single day. All right, so, yeah, man, it's time to subtract. Shit ain't adding up, nigga. You got to subtract some shit, nigga. You feel me? You got to rearrange this math. You know, um, this is the best way to manifest something really, really fast, bro. Really, really, really fast. I'm telling you right now, like, here's the thing, though. When you first start to take things out of your life that you know that doesn't serve you purpose, you feel me? Uh, little vices, again, like even the apps on your phone, when you start to delete a lot of these apps, my nigga, you will realize like, well, goddamn, what is reality? This whole time I've been living in my fucking phone shit is crazy we're living in we're living in a different time a day and age where the life experience itself is what we see in a video like right now like you know what i'm saying i'm i'm talking to you through a video right now and i'm trying i'm just trying to let you guys know when you take time out to yourself and you the things that are matrix bro like a lot of these apps doesn't serve us anything uh, I talked about uh, in my 20, I think when I made like a 24 minute video a couple of days ago, I was talking about um, how like, you know, y'all y'all should check out the, uh, what's the Netflix special called? It's called Social Dilemma. I was telling y'all how like this, th that shit is deep. There's a whole lot of sorcery, a whole lot of energy, a whole lot of people fucking with you through the fucking phone. For real. And it's manipulating motherfuckers to do all kinds of shit. Bro, since I've since I deleted certain apps, and I ain't gonna lie, bro, it's gonna be a struggle, nigga, because you gonna delete an app, but you can download the shit back, nigga. You got Wi-Fi and shit like that. You feel me? So it's literally gonna be a struggle, bro. It's gonna be, and and these apps, bro, like, bro. I mean, since I've deleted a lot of my apps, I've been my mind is just working on another level right now. Like I'm like, damn, I'm noticing shit. Um, I'm remembering things. My mind is just working on a, like, just so clear. Like I'm living in, I'm living life with so much clarity. And even when I have like a moment in time where I might be weak, it's like I, my mind is still clear to be like, well, shit, this is just an emotion. This is this is just what I'm feeling right now. You see what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta subtract a lot of shit in your life, bro. Cause I'm telling you right now, a lot of things that we do on a daily basis does not serve us no real purpose. It's not, it does not serve us no real purpose at all. You know, and I think y'all, you'll realize, you'll realize, dog. Cause for one, you're gonna have more confidence getting through times where, you know, you're not just like everybody else in the matrix. You don't have to be on your phone 24 seven. You don't always have to be checking your, bro. I have an iPhone. 
You know what I'm saying? 90% of the time, my phone is on do not disturb. Okay? 90% of just yesterday, uh, I had my day off and I was just cooling, I'm chilling, I'm vibing. I was like, fuck it. This is my day off. I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take me a little nap. Oh shit. Hey, give me a second. This shit about to get loud. Hold on. All right, I'm gonna just go on this side, but like, you know, they got the trash can thing going on or whatever. But yeah, I took a nap last night and not last night. I, I took a nap in the afternoon and I got a few missed calls. Like one of the calls was from my job type shit. You see what I'm saying? Like, my nigga, and mind you, it's my day off, nigga. Don't call me when I'm off, nigga. I'm enjoying my, I'm, I have to cultivate my energy. I have to reset. I have to reset mentally. Don't call me. We got the trash can people coming out. Give me a second and again. All right, bro. My bad. That's the last time I'm gonna cut the video. But like I was saying, don't call me on my day off. Like I be in my own world type shit. You see what I'm saying? In other words, again, one could say, oh, well, you lost out on money. Nigga, fuck that. Money is coming in abundance. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm pretty sure that the, I'm pretty sure the job figured it out, nigga. Like you know what I'm saying? I was not coming in. But yeah, going back to my original point though, like seriously, um, anything that you got going on that you know that doesn't serve you no real purpose or like it's a video game uh you know even if your xbox you know you got your xbox or you know shout out to the ps5 players and shit like that dog managing how much time you use those ex external things will work wonders in your life and i'm telling you right now a lot of the uh goals that you wrote down two months ago three months ago it'll be so much easier to fucking do now like it'll be like you're gonna do shit fast people are gonna hate you people are gonna get mad like damn this nigga's always doing something he why is he always doing what he's supposed to do fuck he can't be like us and just like you know what i'm saying uh play video games and do this and bro when it's time to take care of business and you have a decision where you can either lay your ass down and just watch tv and eat or get your ass up and go to the gym my nigga take your ass up get your ass up and go to the gym you see what I'm saying? Stay, I mean, those little decisions that you make is going to literally, that, that should literally make or break your manifestations, man. You see what I'm saying? So not only do we have to physically take certain things out of our life, but we also have to delete certain mindsets out of our uh, mindset as well, bro. Because a motherfucker could be like, man, I could easily do this shit tomorrow fuck it you know god's gonna bless me you know what i'm saying even though tomorrow's not promised fuck it i'm just gonna wait till tomorrow let's take that that mindset let, let's discard of that you know what i'm saying let's delete that shit let's open up some space just like in your phone where you want to save pictures and shit it's gonna get to a point where your phone is gonna get full unless you want to pay for this shit you know what i'm saying your mind kind of works similar to a phone i say the phone is more like this more like the uh, mind but it's similar in the sense that, like, if you keep having too much shit stored up into your brain, into your mind, shit going to get backed up. What? And now now the manifestations that you are trying to manifest, this is lost. It's gone in the wind. It's gone in your subconscious. Now you're, now it's scattered brain. You feel me? Start simple. Clean up your room. You feel me? Because um, we don't want to experience energy blockage. I, I spoke about this plenty of times before. But, um yeah all in all like that's that's pretty much it bro as far as like manifesting a whole lot more quicker i mean it makes sense you know what i'm saying if your mind is clear you're focused you're not having distractions apps mindsets um bad habits or whatever you're not having that distract you my, my guy enjoy the ride enjoy the ride enjoy the love enjoy the hate enjoy the ride my nigga because a lot of people gonna love you a lot of people gonna hate you um but for the most part you're taking care of what you got to do you see what i'm saying so without saying too much, it's been your boy Mini Star for the end of the video for today. Make sure you like, share, comment down below, drop a bag on the cash app. And I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video. I'm about to head to the gym and do what I gotta do, man. You see what I'm saying? Get up early, knock this shit out. It's like clockwork to me now. You see what I'm saying? So again, it's gonna be a challenge when you delete, whether it's the apps, whether it's uh, stop hanging out with friends for a couple of weeks, you will feel some type of way. You, re you really will, because it's just like, damn, this whole time, like, my happiness or my leisure was 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 through this app or through this friend. Bro, it's going to make you realize, like, okay, what what are we supposed to be working on? What? How can I improve myself? 
Like, bro, even if I never become a huge celebrity, even though I don't want to be, like, bro, I am so, I'm so elated to live my life because every single day and every single thing that I do, I'm trying to find a way to improve myself. You feel me? And the more I focus on trying to improve myself is the less that I'm going to have shortcomings. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're not focused on something, if you're not geared towards going in a direction, you will fail. You will fall. And it'll seem like you're stuck. It'll seem like you're in a drought. And you'll be chasing something or trying to chase a feeling. And it's going to get to a point where you put yourself in a position where even what you think you want, you can't even have. <laughs> you can't even have. And then at that point, a lot of people become self-destructive. This shit is deep. You know what I'm saying? So it just start with, you know, whatever apps. Again, I have to repeat this shit. Whatever apps, whatever mindset, whatever friends. Um, you know, start some new habits right now, bro. Start some new habits. You know, wake up early, uh, go outside and walk around the block. You'll be surprised. You know, that just starting that, the new ha As you guys see right now, most of my videos in the past like week and a half, they've been dropping early as fuck because I've been waking up early to get to the gym before I even get to work. You know what I'm saying? I deleted the mindset of like, Oh, I'm just going to lay down. I'm just going to relax. Da, 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 da. I got to work today. I'm not going to do shit. I took that shit out of my mind. It was like, nah, I'm reprogram reprogramming my mind to wake up, to get to the bag, do what I got to do, take care of myself every single day. And then it doesn't help that Snapchat keeps reminding me that I used to be sexy because right now, niggas fell off, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So that shit is a little bit motivated. But like, yeah, I, I even had to get off Snapchat for a second, bro. Just, just for a little while, dog, because I'm like, damn, bro, like, what is reality? What is life? Once you take away all them shits, once you slow down on communicating with certain people, yeah, you're going to have your certain people that you can still talk to, because, again, I still have a few females that I communicate with. Um, But at the end of the day, it's like, even with the few people that I'm communicating with, it's like the conversations are high vibrational. I'm not wasting my time. You know, I'm... This shit's crazy. That's why I, this is this is why I fuck with being able to become like one with your own energy. You know what I'm saying? There's so many ways you can move about the matrix the right way with the right type of uh, mindset with your life force energy, bro. So yeah, I'm really for the end of the video. This shit loud as hell, nigga. I, I woke up early as fuck. And this shit loud as fuck. But now nah, I'm gonna definitely see you guys on the next video, man. Peace.